Hello and welcome to Working with Miniatures. I'm Jim, it's Easter, and tonight we're going to be painting a bunny girl that's available for free from Colts3D.com. It was sculpted by Mystic Flare. We'll primarily be using Golden High Flow Acrylics and Army Painter Paints. Let's get started. After printing, washing, curing, and assembling the model, I dilute black primer and coat the entire model. Once dry, I mix black and white primers for a gray and spread a zenithal highlight. I then spray another round of highlights using white, this time from a higher zenithal position. With the primers dried, I start on the flesh. I start with the dark brown sprayed from the bottom to maintain the shadows, but to add a little color. I add, then add another color, this time a dark reddish brown. This one a very light application to raise the saturation. Mixing the previous color with a much brighter flesh tone, I begin spraying with light spurts from a zenithal position. I add brighter or heavier highlights on the upper part of the body, wanting to maintain the illusion of transparent pantyhose on the legs, which would naturally have a darker tone. More highlights are added from the top with a brighter tone before thinning down a deep red to add some flushing to the skin around the inside of the arms, bottom of the cheeks, and the inside of her bust. After everything is dry, I apply Silly Putty to mask the flesh. The masking alone took nearly an hour. I wanted to paint the one piece using Easter colors, opting to go for that color changing fabric look. So I start with the dark purple around the outer edges and on our sides. Then working my way in, I add a lighter purple into a darker blue, to a lighter blue, and then into a green hues as I work my way to the front. Once dry, I remove the putty and head to my desk to finish the ears, hair, face, and other details with brushes. This is the final result. For lessons learned, I was in a rush to get this finished for Easter, so I got a little sloppy with the brush highlights. I also need to rework my lighting as I had trouble getting focused pictures on something this large. I'll be going back to do some cleanup later on this model for sure. It's going to wrap it up for today. I hope you had a happy Easter. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. And if you like the time sharing of this video and would like to see more, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm Jim with Working with Miniatures. I'm truly grateful for your time, and I bid you a fond farewell. Until the next video.